We're at the New York Historical Society and sitting in this beautiful library once again. And I'm speaking to Vivian Gornick. Vivian Gornick, as some of you may know, is a writer, memoir, essayist, and a woman of my generation who has had very much experience with the feminist movement that began in the late 1960s. These are photographs of the Women's March for Equality. Right, 1970. Uh, 1970, August 26, 1970, the 50th anniversary mm. of the ratification of the Women's Suffrage Amendment. Right. And I'm struck as we look at them by the variety of signs that women are carrying. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, many of them very sassy and many of them uh, really crude and insulting and hilarious to us <laughs> now, or what then too. Now here's one, from Adam's Rib to Women's Lib. Now Adam's Rib, you, you will remember certainly, was this very uh, sassy movie with Katherine Hepburn and Spencer, Spencer Tracy. Tracy. Right. And it's really, it's, all of those things were like Shakespearean in their, uh, in their humor. Right, they're, so, they're both lawyers they're both and lawyers. they're competing with each that, other. And one is defending and, a woman who shot her husband and the other one is prosecuting her, right? right. And, and uh, Katherine Hepburn is the woman who is defending the lunatic Judy Holiday, who <laughs> shoots her husband, Tom Ewell. I remember the whole thing. And, um, and he is outraged, outraged because she is doing something immoral. She is defending a woman he know, they both know actually did the deed. Right. And she wants consideration for the motivation of this woman doing the deed. And he says, I don't care what the, consider, what, what the motive was, she broke the she law. She broke the right? law, right. And Catherine Hepburn mounts all these great arguments, and at the end, Capitulates completely capitulates, to him, right. and that's how every one of those movies went. You know, it was all—it was like the Taming of the Shrew. Every one of them goes, you know, oh, she's such an independent woman, and and at the end, she is, um, she's capitulating to. Uh, so from to Adam's convention. rib to woman's from Adam's lib, rib to women's is to really lib, yeah. right. But he, speaking of sassy, he is one that yeah. I particularly like. <laughs> this one says, oppressed women, don't cook dinner, starve a rat today. <laughs> but look at this one, male chauvinist. Yeah, male chauvinist. You better start shaking, today's pig is tomorrow's <laughs> bacon. All of these signs were actually directed at their intimates, at their husbands, their brothers, their lovers, their um, fathers especially. These were the good, the people who loved them and whom they loved, and that's one of the compromising elements in women's right, in the women, women's rights movement. As you said, you're always sleeping with the enemy. Now, who's the enemy? It's, it was the people who said, sweetheart, if you really loved me, you wouldn't want to do that. And that was the fathers, the husbands, the... And now, suddenly, they're in a rage, something they never allowed themselves before. And that's male consciousness. But look at this one. I'm particularly struck here <laughs> by the class differences. Yes. And perhaps she just dressed up to I look like yeah, a, a middle class Edwardian. or upper Edwardian, a lady's lady. A la yeah, my goodness. I, I don't remember seeing that. But yeah. there she was. There she was saying, women unite. Yeah. Right. And marching yeah. with others. That's a sign she could have carried, you know, in the 1920s. Yes. <laughs> For uh, suffrage. Yeah. In fact, she looks like it. Yeah. yeah, the variety of women who marched that day was just astonishing. The variety of women was astonishing, and here, for example, are the opposite. Now we have women dressed in jeans carrying yeah, right. a sign in Spanish right. that says yeah. equal opportunity for women at work and yeah. in education. Yeah. yeah, they were much more sober. <laughs> But right. They, yeah. they look much more yeah. sober, and they look much more like our image of women's liberation. Yes, right? they do. A woman with an afro. Uh-huh. Uh, and then this one carrying a manila envelope. Carrying in a ma <laughs> manila envelope, right. And exactly. there's a, sh shopping, and there's a bag. shopping bag, and the one with a shopping bag is wearing a skirt. Right, a dress, yes. To, 
And, and, and now, oh, it's her. you know, the signs, right? That is the same yeah, woman. Yeah, it is her. It's the yeah. same woman. Yeah. And behind her is a sign that says, free abortion on demand, no forced sterilization. Mm. Which, of course, was one of the mantras of that. Period. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. But, and, and here the women are mixed. Yes. Know, some wearing jeans, some mm -hmm. with a black power fist right. raised high, mm -hmm. and some with a shopping bag right. and a <laughs> skirt looking perfectly yeah. respectable. Right. She was shopping on Fifth Avenue, and she just said, oh, I think I'll join them. Join them. 